back with another Hello Fresh thing. Yeah. Dinner. I forgot the word for dinner. That's how hungry I am. <laughs> <laughs> so Dormois has chosen today's meal, which is going to be a bacon and penny al albaniata with chives and garlic chia batter. Family, hands on time 10 minutes, total time 30 minutes, medium spice, one of your five a day. So this is one of the healthier ones, but it's pasta and I like pasta. So yeah, I'm and that. it's kind of easy. So the very first thing that we need to do is roast peppers. I have never roasted a pepper in my life. So we'll see how this is gonna go. I'm very nervous now because yeah. step one is the thing I've never done before, so. Yeah. I just realised we need to get the bags off what number? Yes, we need it. Number nine. Number nine, number nine. On the New York Transit line. If my plane goes off the track. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's go. Can't say the next sentence. There's a kid in the room. Parenting. <laughs> I do have to apologise about how bad the lighting is. In the new year, I promise I will get a ring light so that you don't have to deal with this anymore. Or I'll just start cooking dinner really early. I don't know. We'll, we'll or one of those Alexa lights. It is. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, I don't know. Right, let's see what's in here, shall we? I feel like we might need to get some of the things out of the fridge as well. Oh yeah, pepper poo. Chopped tomatoes with parsley. Basil. Basil. And then we have this thing. Chicken stock powder. Yep. Then we have this A onion. questionable onion. <laughs> yes. And then we have this. I thought I was giving out like lucky dips. Like, come on. I think this is the um, pepper. And we have these random grassy bits. Her right? Darling, her Ch chives. chives. They're chives. They it literally looks like grass. <laughs> yeah, that's why I call it grass. This is the smoke pipe ring Smoked paprika. Oh. And then. Mmm. Good night! Hey, Billy. No I did it. missing one of the ingredients which is the cheese they've not given us the cheese so we're missing the cheese but we're just going to crack on and hope that the cheese isn't that much of a sad loss and i love cheese so i'm pretty sad yeah but and it's italian and i'm gone i'm learning about italian so yeah it always does um two lessons of italian a week you'll find out why in the future in the very very distant future at this point because of corona but yeah um do we have the chili 
We do have the chili flakes, yeah. The only thing we don't have is the cheese. But I'm hoping that the cheese is, like, we can probably do without the cheese, you know? Yeah, so we've got everything uh, but the cheese. I think I know why there's no cheese. Mm -hmm. Is it because I selected vegetarian and they've just not given the cheese because of that? No, because vegetarian isn't the same as vegan. And I didn't select vegan. They've just forgotten to give us the cheese. Yeah, I think it's only in just the topping. So I don't think there will be that yeah. much right. of a difference. Can I see the first thing there?
got my dolls next to me. It's not really sizzling much. Um, and the pepper in the oven for 15 minutes. And I found this. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this? So, you know, you were talking about we didn't have the Italian cheese. Well, uh, I think I just found the day. It's the I found the day. I just say it's the day because I found the Italian cheese. Like, Mum, this is the thing. This is the cheese we needed. Yay! Hurrah! Hurrah to me! <laughs> to say the day. Hey! Oh, she said, oh, she's. What was it that you said? Or I stayed the day. <laughs> stayed the day. Oh, maracas! Said it feels like grass, so it was kind of weird but funny. And um, we put half of the Italian cheese, like the other two, and there was like a bit of bread bit, so we had to like kind of. Do you want to explain how we're making garlic bread? Oh, yes. So my mum was making the garlic bread and I was like kind of helping in between but there was like this bread and like when you open it Chew better Chew better bread um, When you open it it's like a sandwich and then you have to spread some of the oil I think and some oil, olive oil and some of the garlic and we had to I had to like mix it with a fork and then we had to put it in and then put half of it sprinkle it in like sprinkle the cheese which I'm really excited to try because Obviously, I've not been into Italy, and that's why I'm so excited about cheese. So it's from Italian, Italian people, Italian thing. So yeah, this will be very, very exciting. And yeah, Donnie's review done. Donnie out. <laughs> But this is what it looks like, and I actually get to be part of the taste test this time in the video because I was sick last time. So uh, I don't know how to make it look pretty like chefs do. So here's my mound of food instead. <laughs> right, okay, so this is much, much, there's so much cheese on this. They told us to use half a packet um, as a topping. I'm like, that's a lot of cheese. Um, but the, the, the sauce is really thick, so I'm just going to spread that out a bit. Get some of the chia batter in there. It was really fun making garlic bread chia batter. I've never done that before. It was actually quite fun to do. Yeah. Um, so let me try and some get... Some of the I couldn't do, but... Yeah, this is the fastest pasta I've ever had. Right, give me two seconds to mix this so that I can make sure that I get a good bit of flavouring from everything. So we've got some chia batter. We've got some mm. sauce. Oh, mine... Italian cheese. Mine has spicy flake things in it that I've forgotten the name of. Dawn Weezers does not because she's a bit more sensitive. I can kind of handle it. Um, but even I might decide I don't. Right, okay, just gonna get some pasta. Oh no, I nearly pushed it off the plate. 
No, we need a table in case this wasn't good and obvious. Okay, I've got some tuba, I've got some sauce, I've got some pasta. Are you ready, Dawn Louise? Mm -hmm. Dawn Louise is struggling. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Get some cheese too. Get yeah. some cheese in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, child. Here's me trying to be a lady and Dawn's like, no food. <laughs> Give me all the food. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Mm. Mm. Now that is how you cook pasta. Wow. Oh. I was like, God, this is the fast, fanciest pasta I've ever had. I've never spent this long cooking pasta anymore. This is why you take ages cooking pasta. This is amazing. I'm going to try some of the sauce. I really like the garlic bread. Mm. The garlic bread is really nice. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure. Mm. It's kind of like, it's really hard to explain. I like it. No, I said I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I wish that the, the, there was more chia batter in it because I really like the chia batter. Mmm. Mm, it's kind of sweet to me. Um. Mm. I really like it. What do you think of Ken? 10 out of 10, I really like it. I really like this. Like, I was not expecting to like it as much as I do. I don't think I'm ever gonna wanna make pasta the way that I've been making pasta all these years ever again. So that's one of the things that I do love is that we can keep these meal cards and try and recreate it by buying our own ingredients. So hopefully we can make this again because I really like it. I will say that this is our only box of HelloFresh. We are not getting another box of HelloFresh purely because it does go up. I got it, um, a 50% discount so it's a lot cheaper than it normally is so at the moment you can go to the website get 50% off your first box and then 20% off the next three boxes and then it goes to normal price so if you want to try this go ahead and do it now I will say that I do wish that HelloFresh did it where you could just purchase like the odd box here and there because I think I would use it a lot more if I could just you know one week when I've got extra money because I was able to get things cheaper or something um because normally when we go out and shop I go like yellow labeling and I'll keep an eye out for yellows, especially in the produce section. Like, you can get so much fresh fruit and veg that's still on date and everything. So much cheaper in the yellow section. So that is something that I enjoy doing is hunting that down. So if we have money left over, I'd very much like to use it to learn some new recipes through HelloFresh. I think this is a great way to get into cooking. Um, it's enjoyable because you're not fussing about how much you need of anything or finding it in the shops. You know, everything's delivered perfectly for you. If it wasn't so expensive, this is something I would want to do every week because I feel like we could explore so much more um, meals through yeah. this than we could anywhere any other way because it's very time consuming to go through Google and find loads of different recipes and then go through your shopping and trying to get all the recipes, um, all the ingredients and then to actually measure it out. It's very time consuming, which yeah. people think I have a lot of time on my hands. I don't, <laughs> I don't have as much time as I wish I did. So all of that makes it quite hard to try new things as much as I want to. Like I really do want to yeah. get into cooking and learn how to cook properly. The only problem is I am a cooking newbie. So when they say to do certain things, they say it in a way that people are like, oh yeah, well that's obvious, but it's not obvious to me because I've not done it before. Neither does my brain function. Like, yeah. wait, what does this mean? Wait, what? Do you enjoy making things with me though? Yeah, like, I really, really would really want to do this, like, every week. Yeah, I would but too. But it keeps on, like... Um, Sorry, carry on. Um, it keeps on, like, adding more and more prices. Yeah. And, like, why does the prices keep on going up? Yeah, I do think that if it, if it was more affordable, we would get this every week. Um, I do feel like this would be a great thing for us to sign up to through our best, because then we're both home, we've got all day, it's summer, so it's not dark um because it's quite hard to cook when it's kind of dark like our kitchen is really badly lit our whole flat is really the rooms are very big and there's not enough lights for that room yeah, like there, there should be yeah there should be sconces or, or um what do they call them skylights is it skylights where they've got like all the little dotty ones that's what our flat really needs it's really quite dark in here at night so i feel like if we did this in the summer it's something that i would definitely want to do every week so maybe part of our vlogist is vlogist is Vlogist I? 
I don't know. Vlogus. Versus. <laughs> Vlogus. <laughs> yeah, but there's multiple of them, but I don't know how to say it plural. Vlogus. 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 This is a blooper. I know English. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I think that this is definitely something that I would like to do throughout um, summer holidays. Like when we've got six weeks and it's summer and we've got long, long days. I think this would be a really great thing to do then. This definitely isn't something we'd be able to enjoy if Don loses at school unless we were only getting one box a week because the only time that we have it is at the weekend. So I feel like this is definitely something more for, you know, summer holidays, um, long half terms, those sort of things. But I thoroughly recommend this recipe, it's really good. I will try and see if I can leave a link in the description of the of the actual meal that we've cooked so that if anyone does have HelloFresh or plans to get it, they can choose it if they'd yeah, like to. So like I thoroughly like really it. It's like, really good. Ooh, I want that and like here's the link for ya. Right. So before our food hurries off and gets cold, I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow at 6 pm. Catch you in the next one. Bye. I finished my food and um I didn't really eat this sauce on its own but my mum said it was, it was okay. She didn't expect me to. But it was a good. But my fun part is I my calendar's oh! Right. It's the 16th today. Got open the 16th because that's what day it is. And I think I got a butterfly. 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 So, book. The wonderful book of books. Get it because it's like a book, but of like mini books. I make bad jokes when I'm excited. <clears throat> see. What do we have? We have Mickey and Minnie's Gift of Magic. When Mickey and Minnie have to find each other. The perfect mess was probably to realise that no. The most valuable, valuable gift of all. Aww. This is cute. Yeah. But, so that's what I've got today. Closing the books of books of wonder. Ugh. It will not stand up. We've got a butterfly and a mini and Mickey book. So I'm excited to uh, read these and uh, time to let this one spread its wings. When I can open it. in a minute. Anyway, hope you have a lovely Wednesday.